We are here in Zubara, and uh, Zubara is the largest archaeological site that Qatar has. Um, it is also the first uh, site that was given a World Heritage Site by UNESCO and the World Heritage Committee. What we're trying to do is to, to bring a site back to life. Before oil discovery, you have nothing for income, except we have to depend on ourselves. They look for the pearls here, under the belly. If there is any pearl, they take out and give it to the captain. We hope to connect uh, young Qataris with their past here in Zubar. One of the main reasons for doing it is for Qataris to see their heritage, their past. And uh, I'm really proud that Mir's contribution uh, to this project. We think Al Zubar has been a fantastic success. As you know, it's a UNESCO site. Uh, we've sponsored the new visitor centre and uh, really pleased to say that in the first quarter of this year we've already had 30,000 people. So it's proven to be a massive attraction. What's really good is it's proven to be a good attraction for young people. So we've had lots of uh, young Qatari school groups attending and seeing the fort. So we think it's been great. The pottery pieces that we've looked at from El Subara Mapping out the mineralogy will, will tell you its origin and uh, with that in hand it's possible to map out the trade routes to and from El Subara. We are discovering that basically there was a quite a diverse trade with El Subara and the rest of the world. It came all the way from uh, China and India. It's not only history of Qatar, it's also the history of the Gulf region, it's the history of, uh, of Asia, Europe, African interconnection in the 18th century. So that's why it's World Heritage.